we are going to be testing out this Jay Leno's Garage uh, wheel cleaner with iron remover. I'm going to spray it on first and just uh, pressure wash it off to see how it does. As you can see, the wheels are uh, not crazy dirty, but they're white wheels, so they get dirty pretty quick. But it's not horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that on just so you guys can see what we're working with and hopefully uh, we can just pressure wash it off. That would be best case scenario. Let's see what we got. already see it turning purple. And I'm going to let it sit for a minute and uh, uh, just pressure wash it off. Get in this corner a little better. Hopefully that'll come off um, with just a pressure wash. I doubt it, but I'm hoping because uh, they make some pretty good products, uh, the Jay Leno Garage. And it's actually turning really purple, which I'm, uh, I guess, somewhat surprised, but these are pretty big brakes, so I'm sure they got a lot of metal in them. Give it about 30 more seconds and then pressure wash it. All right guys, so I'm really impressed actually with this uh, iron wheel cleaner. It actually got a lot of the stuff without scrubbing at all out of the, uh, the writing and everything, which is very hard on these wheels. You can see spots where I didn't rinse well still dirty but uh, I've done these wheels many times before and they're uh, really hard to get clean just because they're white you see everything so I'm actually very impressed so I think a very light uh, scrub will uh, do you right with this stuff test it on the other wheels as well see what happens all right guys just got done scrubbing the wheel and I'm actually very impressed with uh, how everything came out pretty good all right all right guys real quick I'm gonna put some of the uh, Jay Leno car wash inside the foam cannon it says uh, two to four ounces for a bucket so I'm gonna give this three big squirts for the foam cannon hopefully that'll do us right Stay with me while I foam it up.
on for the Jay Leno Radiant. It's their spray-on ceramic coat. Uh, I guess that I've used this before and it lasts pretty long, so we're gonna give it a test on this car, see how long it lasts. I'm gonna put you on uh, time lapse and let you watch me put it on and then buff it off. Alright. Alright guys, got a new product to me, Jay Leno's Garage Trim and Tire Care. I'm going to give this one a shot, my applicator sponge. and see what it looks like. Alright boys and girls, we got the Jay Leno glass cleaner. First time we're using it. We're going to be using it on this uh, Viking, um, I guess glass cleaner, microfiber, Velcro's on. It works pretty good getting in the corners and stuff. So we're going to try it out on this. First time using it. Spray the applicator. Let's give it a shot. Definitely made a difference from what I can see, a, a little bit different angle, but it's not a uh, crazy difference because it wasn't that dirty to begin with. I'm going to go into the car now, do the windshield, and let you see. That's basically what this thing is actually for. came out real good there's no uh, streaks and it's actually decently warm out today so no streaks or anything 
This stuff works pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm going to have to put it up against some of my favorite stuff in a test. See who wins. I went in uh, the other day and I wanted to show you and share with you guys uh, my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, so, as you can see, it's Jay Leno's Garage uh, products. The uh, first thing I used was the uh, wheel and tire, uh, or just basically wheel cleaner, sorry. Uh, it's an iron decon wheel cleaner. This stuff worked. This is literally my new favorite uh, iron decon. And the smell on it, guys, you know how it usually smells like rotten eggs. I don't know if they put something in it to slightly mask uh, the rotten egg smell, but I can, I'd say you smell about 20% of the egg sulfury smell um, with this stuff and it works good and it turns purple fast. Works really, really good and I was surprised how good it cleaned the actual wheel as well, breaking down the brake dust and everything like that. So that one is a winner all day in my books. Definitely check this one out, 100%. This might be my favorite thing that they had, that I used that or yesterday, but definitely check that one out. <clears throat> Next, I used a vehicle wash. This stuff uh, worked real good in the foam cannon. Uh, very sudsy and um, it was a good lather. Lather on it, and the slickness was pretty darn good. Um, but they've come out with a new one recently and I used it. I'm gonna compare them, tell you which one I like better. Uh, but I couldn't tell you offhand which one was better. But they both, they both do uh, a good job. But this is the one I used yesterday and I'm happy with it. Uh, it's not the most foamy soap, but it does, uh, it does real good in the foam candy. But I don't even think it says anything. Yeah, it says, uh, yep, foam and lather, thick foam and lather, so it did good. So the next thing I used was their glass cleaner. Glass cleaner is awesome, awesome. Uh, no streaks or anything. And I wanna put this up against my uh, favorite glass cleaner later, maybe we'll do a little battle or something. But uh, the windows weren't horrible on the car I did, so I do need to do more testing. But this stuff was very, very good. Like I said, everything I used uh, yesterday, I was very happy with. So I used this as well. Actually, I used this first before using the glass cleaner. This is their Radiant. I've used this before. I have another bottle right here. I've been testing this stuff out. This one's a little bit more than halfway gone. Uh, I'm really starting to like this stuff. Uh, smells good. Goes on super, super easy. Uh, no streaking, no hazing, nothing like that that you get with like a ceramic uh, spray on coating or a ceramic coating. So this stuff is uh, climbing the ranks real quick. I don't know time frame how long it actually lasts. They say it lasts, I think, uh, like three months. Three to four months. So that's good that they actually say that on the bottle. Other companies will say 12 months, you know, last three to four months. It says three or four months, so maybe we'll get that out of this. But so far, I've tested it, and it's been about a month on a car that has returned, and it's uh, beating up like I just put it on. So, good stuff. I didn't get to use, and I haven't used the uh, detailer. I didn't get to use it yesterday, and I've never never used it yet. So, the quick detailer, I would, uh, I would do another video on how this stuff works and their tire and trim shine. I used it on the tires yesterday. The car didn't have any uh, trim really to do. That was black. Um, all it had was carbon fiber and painted fenders. So this stuff worked uh, really good. It did a, uh, it went on pretty even uh, and then it dried up on the tire and left a more of a satin finish. And as you guys know, that's what I like. So this one is a winner in my books as well. So, the two that stood out the most were these two, their Iron Decom and their Radiant. Um, but these are super awesome products, so 100% recommend both of these. And like I said, there's going to be more testing for all of these products in the near future. So I don't know why they changed this out, this has a cherry scent, it smells pretty good. This one pretty cool it's got like a pearl essence in the bottle in the color it sort of smells like a watermelon and it's got a pink you can see it or not but it's got a pearl essence that one's pretty cool um 
to get a little scent on all of them. This one smells like coconut, and that's their tire dressing and trim dressing. Glass container. Doesn't smell maybe like a hint of a lemony. This smells clean. And quick detailer. Smells like oranges. So obviously they didn't go out of the box uh, with their color smells or just by looking at the color and the smell. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. Um, and one thing to note on the uh, wheel cleaner, I had a messed up uh, spray nozzle. The tip was not shooting in a fan. It was sort of shooting uh, at a weird angle. So, uh, but other than that, all the rest of the bottles work fine. But uh, and you can see, I don't know if this one was dropped, but it might have some might have had something to do with it. So. Maybe it got dropped on the way or in the store, whatever the case was. But I'm very happy, guys. Jay Leno's Garage did a real good job on this one. Check them out.